Namaste dear teachers. In this video we are going to learn an interesting topic based on NEP 2020. Well, in this revolutionized educational scenario and NEP, toy pedagogy is the buzzword. Well now we will see what is toy based pedagogy and indigenous toys and game based pedagogy and we will see designing of the toys and game based activities and finally we will see how well we can link the toys and games uh, with skills like you know to improve vocabulary building, grammar, uh, narrators and finally we can improve communication skills through conversations and all. Well first now let's see what is toy based pedagogy. The toy based pedagogy is a teaching learning approach based on learning through toys and games. It is flexible in nature and provides the learner with the opportunities like exploring, imagining, observing, creating, expressing and most importantly engaging and playing. Integration of toys and games for learning means the toys and games are the center of the curriculum and help in simplifying and clarifying abstract concepts. Well, now let's see why toy based pedagogy. Well, the use of toys and games as pedagogy can be an efficient tool in developing 21st century skills like creative and critical thinking, reasoning, problem solving, communication skills, adaptability, and the list is quite long. The process from making toys to playing with the toys has the possibility of making learning experiential. Well, here the role of teacher is very crucial and the teacher has to create spaces for linking the new concepts with making of toys and using the toys strategically and appropriately. Well, a toy based teaching pedagogy in teaching learning process will enable the students to ignite their imagination, enhance students engagement, explore their creativity, sharpen their collaboration skills, facilitate comprehension of the topic and enhance cognitive, effective and psychomotor skill development. Since ancient times, uh, in the education scenario, uh, we have been using uh, various puppets for our traditional dramas and all. And uh, now what we are going to do is, this toy based pedagogy works wonders with all the students of all age groups and can be harmoniously blended with all the disciplines. So let us see how this toy pedagogy works in the subject of English at the secondary level. Well, uh, we have taken uh, role plays, uh, conversations, grammar and several classroom activities. Let's go and watch all the activities now. Well, here is a classroom activity where we can focus language functions and improve their communication skills. Good morning, children. Good morning, sir. Welcome to our English classroom. Well, in this class, we will learn how to introduce yourself and you will also tell what pattern do you have. Okay? Okay, yes, sir. Right. Now, just look what I'm doing. Uh, well, I'm marvelous Madhu and I have a twin one doll. Now, what is this? Yes. It's a girl now. Now let us see what it will happen now. What is it now? Boy! Oh, it's a boy. Right? Now in the same way, you just tell, introduce your name and you tell what you have. Right. Hi friends, I am very clever personally. I have chimpanzee. Very good. Hi friends, I, I am marvelous Marco. I have dog. 
Hi friends, I am Nitin Lahari. I have the very good. Hi, hi friends, I am Vittari Vikya. I have a cow. Hi friends, I am Anandi Abuya. I have Ravi. Very hi good. friends, I am Dairi Ganesh. I have a penguin. Hi friends, I am I am colorful flamen jelly. I have sunflower. Very good. Hi friends. I am Smiley Shishan. I am I have naughty monkey. Good. Hi friends. I am proud of proud Purna. I have dog. Very good. Well children, now we will see uh, just watch whatever I do, you do in the same way. Now I have a doll you have. and she has a chimpanzee. I have a chimpanzee. He has a frog. Very good. I have a frog. She has. She has a duck. Duck. I have a duck. He has a cow. Very good. I have a cow. She has a rabbit. I have a rabbit. He is a penguin. I have a penguin. She she has a sunflower. Very good. I have a sunflower. She he is monkey. She has a monkey. Okay. Right. Very good. Next. I have she has a dog. Very good. Now, this is how uh, we can use whatever if you have. Okay? okay right. Sir. Thank you, children. You have really done well. And we will meet in the next yes. class. Yes. Today we learn I have and she has. Okay? okay I have a doll and she has a chimpanzee. I have a doll and he has a frog. And Sushan has a frog. And Larry has a duck. Well, Larry has a duck. And Vicky has a cow. Well, Vicky has a cow. And Amulya has a cute rabbit. Well, Amulya has a rabbit. And Derek Danush has a penguin. Well, Danush has a penguin. And Kramadli has a sunflower. Lovely sunflower. Well, Alright, that's all for today and well, we'll meet in the next classroom. Until then, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Okay, bye. For example, we will see now, you can first, uh, you can talk about the color. What is the color of this dog? It's blue. So, it's a blue dog. So, the adjective is blue. And now, ask the students to find out the, uh, the colors or what them, let them describe this. It's a chimpanzee. And what is the color of the chimpanzee? I mean, of course, it's a toy. It's orange and even we can find yellow, right? So now it tells about the color. And now we will see what do you find here? A small girl and a tall girl. And what is the color of the hair? Black hair and you can find brown hair. Short hair and long hair, right? So, these are called adjectives because it adds about the color or the size or shape. Now, we'll play a small game like you have to supply the adjectives with A, B, C, D or even up to Z also. Give this activity to, the, to your uh, students. A to Z activities work any adjective step to them. The sentence goes like this. Uh, I saw an active monkey. Wow. I saw an attractive monkey. Oh, I saw an awesome monkey. Okay. Like that. Whatever. Let them tell. I saw uh, a beautiful flower. Uh, I saw a blue flower. I saw a green flower or even they can say, I have a beautiful flower, right? And you can say, uh, I met a cute cat. I met a cunning cat. They can say, I met a uh, clever cat. 
In this way, ask your children to tell lot of words from A to Z. Well, now let's see uh, how our children are going to tell a story using the toy. Once upon a time, there lived a lion in the jungle. He was very powerful and strong. All the animals in the jungle were afraid of him. But slowly with time, he got tired of hunting. He called all the animals in the forest and passed an order. I'll stop hunting down all the animals in the forest and in return you should send me one animal in a day to my den where I would kill it and eat it as my food. All the animals were afraid of the lion's anger and they start with his order. One day, it was the hare's turn to go into the lion's den. He was very sad. On the way to the lion's den, he came across an old well. He looked into it. It was very deep. As he looked on, an idea struck him. The lion was very angry because no animal had come on that way. The hare slowly comes towards the lion. The hare will take him to the old well. Where is the another lion? Look into the well, my lord. It is hiding from you. The lion will see his reflection in the water and with anger he jumps into the well to kill another lion but he can't come out because it's very deep. The lion dies and hare returns to its home happily. Well, now let's see how our students are going to prepare a conversation using toys from our 9th class English reader, the duck and the kangaroo. Hi, friends. Hi. How lucky you are. You can hop over the fields and the water too. What's wrong with you? Oh dear, my life is so boring. I, I have to stay all the day in this nasty pond. I think I can help you. Oh, really? You are so kind. I would be happy if you give me a ride on your back. Sure, where do you want to go? I want to go around the world and hop like you. What do you want to see? I want to see the bee and the jelly bully over the sea and the land. What my objection? What's that please tell me? My feet are cold and wet and they get me the matches. Dear, don't worry about that. I am already prepared. I have four pairs of birthday socks which fit my wet feet neatly. I think it will be cool in the middle of the ride. Yeah, I know. I have bought a cloth and every day I smoke a cigarette. But you, you should sit steadily at my back. Oh, sure. Shall we start over the ride? Yeah. See, there was the cool bank and it was a lovely time for us. Oh, thank you so much, dear. I am so glad for your kind help and I'll never forget uh, our memorable moments in this life. <laughs> well, up to now, you watch the toy based teaching pedagogy. Uh, you might have also observed how well all our children uh, were busily engaged and thoroughly enjoyed uh, the activities using toy. Uh, I hope that it works wonders with all the students and but at least the part of the teacher and the role of the teacher is very crucial how well you design these activities based on the toys and how well you give interesting tasks to all our students it is completely depending on the teachers. So I hope uh, you can do well and this well work wonders with all our students and definitely is going to improve our children's communication skills and all. So happy teaching and happy learning.